We are one adventure at a time. Dave, Carrie, and Rudolph. We are excited to start our third year of full-time living and traveling in our tiny home on wheels. Join us as we travel North America, exploring and sharing the beauty around us. These guys uh, are good. Number. Look at that spot. This is perfect. Wow. This is my favorite rake here. It's all metal and it's extendable like this. And you can make it any size you want and then you lock it in. It also goes together and makes it nice and short. It's made by ATE, which is, I can almost read that, American Tool Exchange. And we use it all the time. Yeah, especially around the fires, just for making it safer around the fire and make it look neat. Established in 1985, Buenos Aires Refuge spans just over 117,000 acres of semi-desert grasslands. It is one of 565 refuges that comprise the National Wildlife Refuge System. So last night from our camp, we noticed this blue flashing light. And we asked the National Wildlife Refuge employees that came by, and they said these are emergency towers that are maintained by the Border Patrol, same as the roads. So if any hikers or illegal immigrants need help, because we are only 20 miles away from the border, you just come here, push the red button, and someone will contact you and come help. Pretty cool. I said there are five of these in the National Wildlife Refuge. Maintained by Border Patrol, as are these roads. The typical January forecast for this region is sunny and 62 degrees. We were surprised and excited to see snow in our upcoming forecast.
We only saw five rattlesnakes. <laughs> a javelina, a jaguar, and a bear. Yeah. That's it? That's it. No Quadamondes? No Quadamondes. Oh, and 40 coyotes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful out there. If you spend enough time in the desert in the winter, you're bound to run into old friends. And we were happy to reunite with Shane and Kelsey. <laughs> oh, I think you were ready to. <laughs> Hi Shane! How are y'all? Good! We spent this you? evening sitting around the campfire, catching up and sharing our travel stories. Today we are in Southern Arizona off Highway 286. And this is Buenos Aires National Wildlife Refuge. And it's set up with about 80 camp spots and they're all free. And all you have to do is make sure you're actually in a legitimate camp spot and they're all marked with signs. And it's been raining a lot. We're back in a few miles. The road is actually in good shape. There must be enough sand in the road to where it's not, it's not rutting or it's not in bad condition to drive on. So here's the, what the campsite looks like. We're at campsite number 30. We've got a couple of friends with us here today. Most everybody's inside because it's been raining all night and then um, off and on all day today. So this kind of days are great days for Kerry to get editing done and basically a work day for us and not a whole lot of outside exploring. It is actually pretty cold out right now. It's about 43 degrees. And unfortunately, I got to mention that I was hoping to get the drone up here, but it is a national wildlife refuge and there is, you cannot fly your drone. I did check a couple of my apps. They did have a go to fly here, but with doing a little more research because I'm like, well, this would be the first ever wildlife refuge that we were able to actually fly the drone in. Did a little more research. Sure enough, you cannot fly. Yeah, I kind of like this soil here. This red soil is all sandy, even though it's been raining and raining and raining. It's not muddy. It's not sticking to my shoes at all. Really nice spot here. Not, it feels like it's windy, but it's only 15, 16 at the most. 17. We'll keep checking. 17, and it's supposed to be 50 mile an hour per gust, and I we're know. only at 17? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you don't realize how strong 50 mile an hour wind is until you're in it. it you're like, oh, that's no big deal. You're in that kind of wind, you're, you're gonna know. We're having a break between the storms. We're getting multiple strong winter storm warnings, lightning, three quarter inch hail. And now they're calling for three to seven inches of snow. As you can see, it's been raining. So we are in a swamp. Thankfully it's not muddy. Look at this beautiful rainbow behind Love Hut for Life. Wow, it is looking pretty dark over there. They are now calling for 60 mile per hour winds. See the puddle here? Blue sky on this side. All right, let's go back inside.
What are you working on, Carrie? I figure this is a good day to get my pictures uploaded. So a lot of people have been asking me if they can purchase my photos. So I created an Etsy store and I'm working on getting all of these photos uploaded so they can be purchased. Nice. Pretty darn cool. Good thing to do on a rainy day. Perfect thing to do on a rainy day. And it's more time consuming than I thought it was going to be. So, and the cool thing is that I'm working on my laptop off of our hotspot. Yeah. We have connection here. So this is perfect for a rainy day. I've had the Webasto heater on and it's been pretty relaxing yeah. day. It's been pretty comfortable. Yeah. Brutal. We're not going outside. It's cold. It's raining. It's windy. You don't want to go out there. You think you do, but you don't. We're not going out. Why don't you go see Dad? Go see Dad. Come on, Rudel. Come on, Rudel. Up, up, up. Come on, Rudel. Go see Dad. Come on. Come on. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Hi. Good job. Good job. Snow's been melting pretty fast today. And if you're from snow country, you know this is not much snow, but considering that we are in Southern Arizona at low elevation near the Mexico border, wow, Rudel is liking it. <laughs> Good boy, Rudel, where's your ball? Oh yeah, Rudel likes snow too. So I'm pretty happy about it. The snow feels like it has been following us around. Um, but, you know, I love the snow, and Rudel does too. <laughs> it's the middle of day here in Arizona next to the Mexico border where it never snows. And we're catching a bit of a snowstorm. So Slightly. we got So we got some what do we want to do for today? Let's go for a drive. Absolutely. See That's if we what can I'm find thinking. Some animals. Yep, they might be out. They come out when it snows. I'm loving these giant snowflakes. Come I, to southern Arizona. It'll be warm. <laughs> wow, those are some big flakes. Try to use these traction boards to get us out of here. Um, if we can get back, the ground seems to be a little bit harder towards the middle, so if we can get it back on the middle, we'll be fine. We're gonna try one more time. Yeah, we're gonna try one more time. And then maybe we'll call. And then we'll call it and wait till the weather gets better. <laughs> Let 
Nice and muddy. Traction birds make a good shovel. I do, I, they do, they really do. I don't know if that's gonna be enough to get on them. Yeah. Oh, go! Yeah! What's going on with the other one? Don't leave home without your traction boards. Right, Dave? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> How about don't go for a day trip while the ground is muddy and snowy and just wait for it to kind of dry out a bit. Or don't drive on the side your wife told you not to drive on. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. to the National Wildlife Refuge and the road is getting rough and there's just a lot of snow melting off really quick. So. There's like five inches of snow melting. Yeah. So this is the Refuge Visitor Center loop where there's supposed to be antelope and deer which we were hoping to see. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna risk it though. This is just a bad day for it. But I have enjoyed our, our drive today and, yeah. and see. Mm -hmm. So what you need to know if you come to this area. If you come in from uh, Nogales, the 30 mile paved road is very bumpy. Yeah, there's just a lot. Fill of... the potholes. Yeah. <laughs> so prepare yourself for that. If you come in from the west side, it is a lot easier to get to. Our Tucson, yep. the east side. 
if you camp here there is no amenities there's no water there's no toilets so it's pretty dry camping but in that there are 80 free campsites. You just have to find the numbered campsites and camp in a designated area. Um, some of them are very tiny. Some of them are very nice, like the one we have. Yeah, they upkeep the road very well. Mm -hmm. And the camp spots are spread apart enough to where you won't even see your neighbors. We actually saw volunteers on the road and stopped and talked to them. They come around daily and clean the campsites. Yep. So if you're looking for a spot that's quiet and out of the way, not as busy as Quartzsite, um, I definitely recommend coming here. I think most of the time in the winter that <laughs> it's, it's warm. warm here. So yeah. we caught a very rare storm. The rest of the country is getting a snowstorm too. There's actually more border patrol that we see than campers. Yes, absolutely. So I don't know if that's normal or if they just came out to see the snow too. Just on the drive today, we've seen over a dozen border patrol. <laughs> yes. All right, so we got a few more stops left here in Arizona and then we'll be heading east. Yes. So we hope you stay with, uh, continue watching our videos and hope you enjoyed this one and we will see you next time. Happy boondocking. If you would like to support our channel, please consider becoming a patron or check out our new merchandise at oneadvancereatatime.com. We also have stickers available in our website store. Thank you for watching.